We're talking with State Senator Jill Tracy at the State Capitol. Senator, there's been a lot of talk at the Capitol about uh, the governor coming out soon, perhaps almost any day now, with some details about moving Illinois into Phase 5, uh, his five-phase plan for reopening the state uh, after the COVID-19 pandemic. Where do you see things at this point? Well, I think downstate, the area, the 11 counties that I represent, I believe that they are ready to reopen into Phase 5 and uh, return to the over 50 people in-person meetings. If you look at our percentage of positive tests, they are very low. And if you look at our vaccination rate, it's it's very high. So uh, we've followed the rules that have been given us. And obviously, uh, we in those areas are, are ready to reopen. And I believe we can do so safely. Uh, we have adequate hospital supply. We never came close to using all of, up all of our hospital capacity. And uh, so if you go by what's been laid out, I I think we're ready to reopen, to go into phase five. And I certainly wish the governor would acknowledge that parts of the state are different than the city of Chicago. Uh, They've had the highest uh, levels of deaths. We don't want to have any deaths, but uh, certainly they've had the higher rates. And so uh, they can be treated differently, but where we are in West Central Illinois, it's ready. Our economy needs to be back full throttle. People need to be able to plan weddings, plan graduations. Uh, They want to have their schools fully open and uh, not be hit over and over with executive orders. Uh, The executive orders that have continued uh, have really hurt many uh, businesses. The legislature should have been involved. We are going into a year of executive orders. We've had 76 executive orders dealing with COVID-19, that's one person acting not in concert with the rest of government. That's right. And for instance, the executive order that uh, prevents evictions, unless somebody makes over uh, almost $100,000 a year, and uh, it's the landlords that are calling us are just desperate. They're uh, small families or young families that own a house to rent, and they're paying the utilities, the real estate, the insurance uh, and they are just about to lose their, their rental investment and can't evict. And then on, we see the crisis with the uh, Illinois Department of Employment Security, IDS. We have numerous people that have been kicked out of the system, can't get in. We have pages and pages of desperate people needing relief, and we bring these forward to the governor's office. And uh, they, for some reason, we just can't seem to get on top of it. I know they were overwhelmed, and we could understand in the beginning, but it's been a year. And so I, I'm just uh, not satisfied with what we're seeing being enforced upon us because I think we can reopen. And the problems with the IDS will work themselves out if people can get back to full work. And uh, certainly their back claims have to be addressed. But we are are ready to go, and I I wish that that would be acknowledged, that this area and many in downstate Illinois are ready to reopen and try to get this economy going again. Since day one, you and your Senate Republican colleagues have been asking for the data, the details, the figures, the science behind uh, the governor's decisions, uh, which he is happily to stand up in front of the media and talk about his decisions. But when it comes to responding to requests for information, he hasn't really been all that forthcoming. That's absolutely true. Uh, When you restrict the number of people in a building, say a, a small dress shop, and then you allow people to wander around Walmart or you restrict restaurants to outdoor dining and uh, only and not allow them to have indoor dining, what sense does it make when you can go to Sam's Club and walk the aisles and, uh, you know, they may have things on the floor, but the the capacity is way greater. And I would say the risk would, if the science is really there, Uh, we've not seen the data that says in that restaurant or in that small boutique uh, dress shop, 
you can't, you have to follow these rules, but the others don't apply and that the risk of COVID is any greater in one or the other. So no, we haven't seen that. And so much of it has been inconsistent. It just doesn't seem logical, some of them. And so uh, that's why I say we're ready for fi phase five. Let's go. I guess we'll just have to wait around and see what happens next. That's true. But um, I, I really would ask that he listen to us and allow us to participate in this decision-making process going forward. All right. Senator Jill Tracy, thanks very much. Thank, thank you.